Yes. Are you scared? Oh, I'm never scared. A ghost. <laughs> you said you're never scared. This is just a human skeleton. A model of human bones. Maybe from school laboratory. See, let me make him stand. like tongue so he can speak but can you tell me about him yes this provides support to our body how see it by magic jimmy can you see this shirt in a hanger yes let's see if we remove the hanger what happens shirt falls down if we remove the hanger see if bones don't stand up, our body would be like a lump of mud. Also, it saves our heart and lungs from any damage. Yes, you are right. <coughs> Skeleton supports our body. It protects our body organs. How many bones are there in our skeletal system? Oh, there are 206 bones. But when a child is born, it has approximately 300 bones. But when you grow up, few of the bones join together. Human skeleton has 206 bones. Oh, these are shoulder bones. Yeah, you're right. These are called clavicle. We also call them collar bones. That is why part of the shirt at this point is called collar. This is central bone of the front. What is this cage like thing? It is made of many bones. It is called rib cage. Our heart and lungs are behind these bones. So, if anyone hits at your chest, this rib cage will protect your heart and lungs. Let me show you. Ouch! See? Nothing happened to your lungs and heart. I am still breathing and my heart is still beating. <coughs> Rip cage protects heart and lungs. What is this bone? This is called humerus. Now see this. Touch your back. There is no bone here. Oh, it is not a single bone. It is made of 33 small bones. It is called spine. It starts from the bottom of the brain and ends at the start of the bump. You're 
right. For strong bones, you need calcium and vitamin D. See it by man. Yes, and you can get vitamin D from fish. And you know, we should spend a lot of time in the sunlight. Now, my bones would be strong. Now, let's walk in sunlight. Yeah, sun gives us free vitamin D. Oh, sun gives so many things to us. Hello children, today we will learn about the framework of the body. So if you stand in front of a mirror and look at your image, what do you see? Your body has a definite shape. You can easily walk around, jump or swim. Have you ever thought what gives your body a definite shape or allows you to move from one place to another? There are 26 bones. There are 26 bones, sorry, there, there are 206 bones of different shapes and size in the body. The bone joins together and form the skeleton system. Human skeleton has 206 bones. They are different shapes and size. In the body, the bone joins together and form the skeleton system. If your skeleton that gives a definite shape and protects your whole body, it supports the body and allows it to move. Certain bones protect the soft and delicate organs of the body. The skull protects the brain and the rib cage protect, protects the heart and the lungs and the backbone protects the spinal cord. The framework, the human skeleton is made up of, of skull, backbone, rib cage, the upper and the lower limbs, shoulder and hip bones. Skull Skull is made up of, of 22 bones. 14 bones are present in the face and 8 at the back. Those bones are flat. They join to form a round structure supported by the backbone. The skull gives protection to the brain. The backbone is made up of 33 small bones. The backbone protects the spinal cord, supports the skull and allows free to the back. Upper limb or arms have several bones. We have a pair of arms. The upper arm bones fits into cup shaped structure formed by the shoulder blade and the collar bones. Lower limbs or legs are similar to arms bone. The tick bones is the long, strongest and the longest bone in the body. It supports the weight of the whole body. The tick bones fits into a cup shaped structure formed by the hip bones. The rib cage is made up up of 12 pairs of ribs. The ribs are attached to the breast bone in, front, in the front and the backbone at the back. Forming a case, the lungs and the heart were well protected by the rib cage. Bones are living. Put a chicken bone into a jar of vinegar. Leave it there for a few weeks. When you take it out after a few weeks, you will find it has become soft. You will be able to bend it easily. Do you know why the bones has become soft? The outer layer of bone is made up of hard minerals called calcium. When this mineral, mineral matter... The calcium layer and the ho hollow cavity give strength to the bones. Inside the bone, a protein material called the bo bone marrow is found. We have a kind of soft bone also. If you press your nose against the mirror, it looks funny but the nose easily regains its shape. The ear flap can also be twisted easily. The nose and the ears are made up of soft bones. When 
a new bone grows it takes the place of the soft bone what holds the bones together if the bo bones are so strong and hard then what allows them to bend we can bend our bones because of the joints wherever two bo jo bones meet a joint is formed bones are held together by a tough fiber like tissue called ligament there are three kinds of joints first type allows to allows no movement for example the bones of the skull the second type allows the limited movement for example the bones of the backbone the third type allows a lot of movement this type of joint can be hinge joint allows movement in one direction only like a like the hinge of a door or window for example the knee or the elbow ball and socket joint also circular allows circular movement for example the upper arm and the shoulder blade the gliding joint allows the bones to rub against each other for example the wrist or the ankle the pivot joint acts like a pivot for example the skull of the on the backbone the head can nod what brings about a movement if the bones are so strong bones allow movement with the help of muscles the muscles and bones work together so you can move bones are covered with muscles this gives shapes to the body when you bring your lower arm nearer to the upper arm the muscle bunch up and get smaller this is called contraction a muscle while working contracts when the lower arm is straightened and the muscles go back to their original size the muscles are now relaxed kinds of muscles there are two kinds of muscles the movement of some muscles are under our control they have light and dark band and striations on them these are called voluntary muscles all muscles attached to the bones are of this type those muscles which are not under our control call involuntary muscles they do not have any stress straitation on them muscles on of the stomach has of this type heart muscles are called cardiac muscles they are involuntary muscles they have striation on them and are branched they work throughout our life how muscles function muscles always work in a pair when our muscles contract the bones are pulled muscles cannot push a bone they work in one direction only another muscle must contract to take back the bone in the opposite direction when we bend our elbow one set of muscles pull our arm towards us when we stre straighten our arm another set of muscle pulls it away now we are end of this video so look it at again the skeleton system forms the framework of the body it gives a definite shape to the body protects the delicate organs and allows movement in our body there are 206 bones of different shapes and size where two bones meet a joint is formed a joint may not allow any movement or allow a little movement or sufficient movement a bone allows movement with the help of muscles voluntary muscles are under our control and involuntary muscles are not that's all for today children i hope you understood this topic now and if you like the video if you like this video then please hit a like and subscribe the channel for video like this and allow uh, click on notification bell so you can get this kind of video in future bye bye and thanks for watching